Hi, my name is Seraphim, and the world is in a very, 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 very... Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. What? Hi, my name is Seraphim, and the world is in a very, very, very unusual place. I mean, we had lockdowns, riots, even though we were supposed to stay inside, and you know, a lot of stuff that shouldn't be happening right now, but it's happening right now. And for me, that's a problem. The thing is, um, 2020 has been the worst year for, like, everyone. Um, we all heard that a lot. Everyone is suffering right now. But for me, though, I think the, um, most things that are suffering is social media. Yeah, that's right. Social media is suffering the most. Um, I think, um, maybe social media is, um... On its verge of trying to be funny, but probably not. I mean, um, shit. Hi, my name is Seraphim, and in the world. Hi, my name is Seraphim, and the world is in a very, very, very dark place. Um, there are lockdowns, riots, even though we're supposed to stay inside, and uh, a lot of stuff that shouldn't be happening now, but it's happening right now. And humanity. It knows all this. They are a little like suffering to the core. But you're not the only one who's suffering, humanity. Um social media, I think, is um suffering. Um all because of one thing. Twenty twenty. And algorithms. You see, you take one look at one of these things and go, Nope, I'm out of here. And that's like that for me, at least for most of you, and me. So I want to talk about three problems that are going on in social media in 2020. No time to to um give out spoilers or anything like that. Let's just jump into it. And uh, before we start, um, I just want you to know that I am supporting Black Lives Matter the website, and um, uh, you can um follow their um. Um, link in the drink description below. Also, my opinions are not, um, just my opinion. Um, please don't, um, argue against me or, like, abuse me for my opinions. Okay? Okay. Starting off, we have the first problem, Twitter. Now, you see this going on you, right? Um, you log into your, um, Twitter account, um, by the way, I also have a Twitter account, please follow me, my, um, this is my username, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of stuff has been going around, like this. This is not usually as tragic, but really something that's very, very relatable, or something. But it's still kind of bad, and it's all because of this. This has been another tragic thing since then. I don't know how or why um it's um happening, but apparently it's this. Um and this is just only the beginning. There's also this. And this. Yeah. I said this. Which by the way has been going around since like I don't know. The start of 2020, I mean, think about it. We had World War III, Australian Burst Fires, Kobe and Gigi Steph, a worldwide epidemic, riots, a, a, an alternate universe, murder hornets, confirmed UFO sightings, and now DDoS or something. It's the worst day ever. It's only June. So, what can I say except. <laughs> But for me, um, I don't think it's Twitter themselves that are causing the problem with this. Um, I think it's because of the memes, 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 memes. memes. Taking from SMG Four's meme video, there are four types of memes: obscurity, parody, mockery, and uh, reliability. But now, three of those types have been cut off, and uh, one just stands beneath us. Mockery. And, by the way, mockery is the worst. You ever see one of those mockery memes go, huh, that's sad. But kind of funny at the same time. 
not me. When I see a mockery meme, I go, huh. Yeah. That's how I hated them. And, um, it's just... The memes have been rampant over these days. Um, there have been memes about, um, um, Kobe's death and, uh, World War Three and, um, yes, the, um, pandemic. But everything is just not fine for Twitter. The memes are holding them back for being what they are today. And you can blame whoever who decided to make these serious memes. Alright, first problem out of the way. Now, let's talk about another problem we have faced. Black Lives Matter. So, there's a whole lot of Black Lives Matter tweets uh, around the um, world, and, um, it's been swimming like wildfire. Um, these memes, I mean, sorry, memes are, in a way, sort of funny as well, but, um, <sighs> there is sort of a, um, side effect on all this. The, um, Black Lives Matter thing kind of mixed with the, um, Pride Month, and now people are celebrating Pride Month and Black Lives Matter thing at the whole same time. Lesbian people are, are, are um, celebrating Black Lives Matter, and, uh, black people are celebrating lesbian and gay people and lots of sort of bisexual people. And it's just a mixed bag of races. Um, I'm honestly kind of just annoyed with it. I mean, LGBTQ characters are very popular um, today. Um, there was Steven Universe, where we had Ruby and Sapphire just getting married together, and that was the most heartwarming thing I ever seen in my life. Then there was Undertale, and then and that had um, Undyne Alphys, and um, also getting kissing together, and... <laughs> but in 2020, things have just gone awry. Um, a lot of people are just feeling the content, um, become the whole internet world with Black Lives Matter and Pride Month, and sometimes two at the same time. And that sort of annoys me. It's not like I hate um Black Mouth or Black Lives Matter, but um Yeah, that's pretty much it at this point. Um I'm kind of sad. Just sad I have to face all this. <sighs> but enough of that. Let's talk about now a um a third and final problem that isn't kind of a deal but should be a deal because it affects all of us youtubers spam bots now spam bots have gone very 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 common throughout these days and it has been horrifying out there just horrifying a lot of people are just just doing it just just Making um want to be fr just just comedy want to be friends over and over and over again just it's the most annoying thing I have ever seen in my whole entire life. I'm you see that dog over there? That's me. Why just seeing a lot of spam bots and I nothing and else. Really bad. Just <laughs> nothing <laughs> else. And it's at this point it's it's at the point where YouTube should do something about this, but they. Unfortunately, don't because they can't track their location. They can't track where they are. They can't track um what are they doing? It apparently, and they're even comments as well. Um, fairly reminded by the way, comments are key. Um, they're the thing that keeps the um, bots running, but apparently that's not the only thing that keeps them running.